previous lectures, we saw how to make use of partial views, how we can make use of custom helper methods to ensure consistency and reusability of certain methods in our views. Now in this one, we'll be going one step ahead and we'll be creating view components. Now view components, as they sound, combines logic as well as the view. That's the HTML part of it. So you have both the things together and you have view component. Now this view component allows you reusability and that's the benefit of it. Now in this one we'll see how we can create this upcoming events section that we have as a view component. So here in our code we'll go to solution explorer and the first thing that we'll be doing is we'll be creating a directory. We'll be calling it view components. Remember it's not necessary to name it view components. It's just a convention that I'm following and uh, here we have view components. Next inside this directory I'll be having a class file created. So I'll go to add and then I'll say class and here there are a couple of things that we have to take care of when creating a view component. First thing is if you're creating a view component, the criteria is the class name must end with view component. So let's do that first over here. There are other ways of doing it as well. So here I'll be giving it a name, upcoming event, and then I'll click on add. Here you can see the class is ending with view component and that allows ASP.NET Core Framework to understand that this is a view component. There are other ways to realize this. One of them is by tagging it with this attribute called view component. And here you can see it's residing inside Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC. So there we have. The other way of doing this to ensure that ASP.NET Core Framework understands that this class is actually a view component is by inheriting it from view component. Now, once we have this class, we'll have to make use of the invoke method. And that invoke method will basically return a view. So here we'll say public I view component result and then we'll have the method invoke inside this method will be saying return view and here you have noticed that I've just commented this view component attribute and made use of view component inherit class. If you remember we had this layout master page which was basically having everything in it. So and here you can see that we have this start upcoming event area. Now this is the container which had all the HTML so I'll be just extracting it out from here by cutting it and over here we'll be making use of a weight and then here I'll be saying component dot invoke async and inside it we'll be having the view component that we just now created so here I'll be giving it a full namespace skill bakery dot view components dot upcoming view component and then we'll be closing it over here saving it now now the next thing that we need to do is create a default.cshtml file now the best place to create a view component default.cshtml file is inside a shared directory so here in views We'll be opening up shared and before creating the default.cshtml file we'll have to create a directory with the name upcoming events because that's the name of our view component so here we'll say add folder and then components and inside that we'll create another directory like i said upcoming events now inside this one will be having a view so we'll say view and empty without model for now no layout page required let's give it a name 
default and here we'll replace the text with the content that we copied from the layout page let's save this now and all we need to do now is run this to see it in action and there you have it the upcoming events section that you're seeing now is basically coming from our view components now with this view component we can make use of it anywhere wherever we like and all we need to do in that case is just make use of this one line that we wrote in our layout.cshtml component.invoke async and the name of the component now the next lecture we'll be taking a look at how we can add logic to this to actually make this a real view component.